A day after the police issued a red alert over terrorism, security was intensified in several public checks. Security personnel carried out body searches supported with different gadgets. Amid this heightened security, do the security personnel and the public know what to look out for? A security expert, Enoch Makang, demonstrates that is how a person should be checked before ruling out that they could be carrying explosives. Terrorists can also opt to use women's bras to conceal explosives. During checks, expectant mothers are always accorded less attention due to the delicate condition they are always in. But according to Makanga, wrong elements can take advantage by wearing such an improvised explosive device to disguise themselves. The guys who are searching ladies, they have to be very thorough. They have to be very thorough apart from um, checking in the back. They are also TNTs or trinitrotorin explosives, which is easy to carry but can cause immense damage. Experts now warn that it's high time people became cautious of who bring what to who. These guys could be able to put it in a bread, they can put it in a dolly, they can put it in anything. First of all, they will camouflage it so in such a way that you, as a normal person, you will think is a normal bread being delivered in your, in your organization. There are also pipe bombs packed with explosives that are connected to a cell phone that is used to detonate it. As security guards carry out their own searches, it is also important for the car owners to check them before driving off. I'm looking at the way you've parked your car and the way it, the way, where it is facing. When you drive off, you step on that, you step on the, on, on, on the explosive. Briefcases can also carry perilous devices, no matter how executive they look. Shoes can also be fitted with explosives. This means those manning security have to go an extra mile in examining every object that sets soft metal detector signals. Males can also be used to carry bombs. According to Makanga, the body language of a person should also be able to raise the interest of security personnel. Somebody going to the local shopping mall, having a very big luggage, like those luggages people carry when they are going, when they are going up, up country. Since the security alert was issued, all police personnel have been recalled for duty to avert any alleged plot by the Al-Shabaab. We need to intensify the community policing programs on ground. The personnel have to move around to check on the various target areas. Thoroughly checked me, but not quite. Security experts warn that a person manning security shouldn't be holding a gun on one side and also a metal detector on the other side. That reduces the level of effectiveness. We build shopping malls to make, me, to make money. If we are making money, then that means we have to make sure that we add more guards. However, as the police and other security agencies intensify their presence, they say the public should be vigilant. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV.